top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, for some years now the heat of summer has warmed the whole planet, reaching temperatures never seen before. And there are also the first cases of hallucinations even in the world of the paranormal, such as this video posted on YouTube in 2019 which claims to have been scared to death after having taken this figure in a grassy clearing, which seems to have no lower half. I can understand that someone has never seen a scarecrow, but the lower half is missing due to the height of the grass and the distance from the target. In any case, if you too are terrified to death, it is better to abandon this kind of video and devote yourself to something more serious, in this regard we begin the selection of our top 3 ghost. The Abandoned Hotel It is not clear the exact location of the video, but from the images seen we have deduced that it is the abandoned hotel called Port of the Island, in Florida, Everglades. The video shows an urban exploration of the famous paranormal investigator Franco, who on June 27, 2022 posted on his YouTube channel Franco TV, a series of truly gruesome images of the rooms of a hotel that residents consider a haunted place due to the ugly one's experiences of some customers, who ran away from the hotel in the middle of the night. Armed with cameras and flashlights, Franco describes a terrifying experience and the constant feeling of not being alone. Look at the size of this place. It's kind of close to the area from where I came in from. Sorry for the profanity written everywhere. All right. I'm just kind of run, doing a quick run through in here because of the amount of this place has this is the kitchen Franco quickly visits the part of the kitchens and in the comments someone indicates the presence of strange dark shadows although we believe they can be attributed to the play of light and mirrors anything Here, so like the restroom areas. See that? Oh, God. A terrible female scream is heard coming from the hotel rooms, which terrifies Franco to death. Let's hear it again. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Even in the central room Franco records some anomalies that are highlighted in the comments, in particular a figure dressed in white on the left of the video footage that Franco does not seem to notice. You can see the... That's the big thing on top of the building if you see from the drone shots. Cease to amaze me. This reminds me of the time that I heard the voices. God, that was so creepy when you heard all those voices. Let's walk up through here. Oh, shit. I heard another noise. Even while exploring the bedrooms Franco hears some noises and whispers and something that, in the comments, is defined as a dark shadow, incompatible with Franco's reflection due to the curvature and the distance from any mirrors. I want to know what's in here. I can't tell. Alright. 
a truly horrible place, which as described by Franco has seen drugs, prostitution and murders, and where there are strange anomalies that would make even the most skeptical escape. The Ghost of a Little Dancer now get ready because this video will literally blow your mind. Shot in San Antonio, Texas, USA, the video shows the backyard of Jay De La Rosa's house, filming his dogs with his girlfriend. Posted on the Francisco Gonzalez YouTube channel on January 24, 2017, the video shows something anomalous during a normal family shooting of play with dogs. The white dog you are watching, jumps because the girl is blowing soap bubbles to make him play. While the dog is having fun playing with the bubbles, on the right side of the screen a translucent figure moves quickly from right to left and then stops and rotates on itself. The author of the video says that he thought he saw and heard a little girl running across the lawn, stopping and twirling, and then vanishing into thin air. I got that, I, oh my god, I got that. I swear to god. Oh my god. They just cut the line. Yeah, see if I can. Babe, she was right there, baby. I saw her. Oh, that one? Hold on. I saw her playing, baby. Hold on. It's really difficult to understand what it is. The image seems perfectly integrated into the context and deflects the dog in its run. Someone in the comments claims to see the shape of a dog, but if you look more carefully, it looks like the figure of a little girl. Even the author of the video seems credibly shocked by what he has seen and describes the child to his girlfriend. And you? What do you think about it? Strong evidences you aren't alone. The story we are about to tell, is set in one of the most haunted places in America, we are talking about the state of Kentucky, infamous for the legend of Sleepy Hollow and the satanic rites, for the entities seen in the previous episode on the Waverly Hill Tuberculosis Sanatorium, for Bob Mackey's music world which is, perhaps, the most haunted nightclub and bar in the country and so on. A state that saw a bloody civil war in 1862, therefore a place full of history but also of atrocious victims. Here, a man named William Sloan, 12 years ago opened a YouTube channel with the intention of publishing songs, written sung, and played live by him and his band. But after posting several videos, after three years of opening the channel, the man begins to experience strange noises, whispered voices and strange shadows in his house and decides to ask his wife if she was okay with carrying out a paranormal investigation. But his wife categorically forbade him any experiment fearing for family safety. William took advantage of the woman's temporary absences from home, to invite a friend with a Ouija board and start investigations. From these analyzes it emerged that an entity named James was around the house. So William, totally inexperienced on the paranormal, began to record the anomalies that happened with his phone, publishing his findings on the channel. Published on January 22, 2013 on the William Sloan YouTube channel, the video is only the first of a series of truly disturbing events that the man had to undergo inside his home. Is that all? Can you do a little more? I think it's tired or something. God. 
James, can you give us one more, one more big rock? After hearing noises coming from the other side of the house, William picks up the phone and films a rocking chair asking the James entity to swing it. After a few seconds, in the absence of wind and with discontinuous oscillations, the chair rocks by itself. And it's not about fishing line because zooming or filtering the image shows no signs of cheating. And this is also highlighted in the other videos that William brought to the channel. Okay, a few minutes ago, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch over there, and I was just watching TV and on Facebook, as usual, and I don't know where Baxter is, it's right there. Baxter was sitting next to me on the couch, and Hazel, this girl, was way back here in the hall okay and all of a sudden <laughs> these vertical blinds just they rattled by themselves like somebody just walked into them let me let me see if I can demonstrate I was sitting over there Baxter was sitting where Hazel's sitting right now Hazel was all the way back in there and the blinds go like somebody opened them Her in this other video William is convinced that it is once again the entity named James that causes these poltergeist effects so he tries to recall the entity to repeat the gesture of moving the curtains and in the meantime the cat is petrified on the left of the screen is it you? the vent. I don't know. I think that was the vent. It wasn't like what it did before. I don't know. It's been a little bit. I'm not convinced. Oh, shit. In another video, William following the comments received on the channel follows the advice of a user, try to communicate with the entity via a bell, and after asking James to manifest himself a very powerful poltergeist phenomenon occurs, give a look. Actually, for about three hours, you know, watching TV and talking to it at the same time, and uh, I thought I saw the, I thought I saw the little, this thing you move a minute ago. So I muted the TV, and we're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Here too, after waiting several minutes and attempting a request, William witnesses this scene. I always tell you, just do one little thing for me, and I won't bother you anymore. And then I always ask for more. Today, give me one good ring. And you can be on your way. I won't bother you anymore today. I won't talk to you. I won't even think about you anymore today. Just give me one good drink if you're there. You see that? Is that happening? <laughs> oh god. You fucking see this. You 
You see that plunger? Good. I couldn't hear you, but I seen it. Dude, hit it real hard. I know you're trying. Just whatever you got, just give it all you got and just hit it one good time. Holy. In the comments, users argue that even a bell with an engine could not have had this behavior. After some time the poltergeist phenomena ceased, and William resumed publishing videos of his songs. A really interesting case for a series of factors including the place of origin, William's total inexperience in the sector, the very long time in the videos that demonstrates William's weight and the request methods that have manifested these phenomena. We do not know if it was an hoax or we are facing a real case of poltergeist, what is certain is that we will never deal with videos like the one we are about to see, where a man turns with the camera around the house filming a dozen poltergeist phenomena and then carelessly frame a relative, dressed as a ghost, because it is clearly false material that unfortunately continues to grow on the web. Our episode ends here, if you appreciated our work, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help us bring more and more interesting material. Follow us on our social networks to find out about the new video releases, I thank you for watching and I'll meet you at the next video, good night.